Friends, good afternoon. It's early in Holy Week and I wanted to take this opportunity to wish you a really joyful Easter when it comes. Not all of you will know that on Easter Sunday morning at half past ten, uh, the BBC One uh, will be broadcasting live a service from Sheffield Cathedral. Do please pray for Dean Peter and his colleagues. Uh, what a marvellous opportunity for us to um, proclaim to the world the good news that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Uh, do please be praying for me too as I have a short sermon to prepare for that occasion. And in that sermon I'm expecting to focus on two words from uh, the Gospel of Mark, from Mark's version of the story of the first Easter day. Some of you will know how the women come to the tomb and find it empty and an, and an angel dressed in white who says to them, don't be alarmed, uh, Christ isn't here, he has been raised from the dead and is going ahead of the disciples uh, to Galilee and will meet with them there. So go tell the disciples and Peter that the Lord is risen. And it's those two words, and Peter, that intrigue me. You won't find them in Matthew's account of the resurrection or, or, or Luke's or John's. Why did Mark feel it was important? to include them. I think it's because the last glimpse we get of Peter in Mark's Gospel is the moment just after he has denied Jesus and the cock has crowed for the second time and Peter bursts into tears and as the curtain comes down if you like on Peter's career in the Gospel of Mark it's at that moment when he's weeping with remorse. He exits stage left if you like, a failure. So those two words, and Peter, give me hope. They tell us that the risen Jesus wants to restore relationship with Peter. And more than that, that the risen Jesus hasn't given up on Peter despite that triple denial and still has work for Peter to do among the company of the church, bearing witness uh, to the good news that God has raised Jesus from the dead. And that encourages me, as I hope it encourages you, if you feel like you're a failure in following Jesus, the good news is that the same risen Jesus takes the first step to restore relationship with you too. And more than that, he hasn't finished with you yet. He has work for you to do. You have a part to play in the company of his followers as together we bear witness to the glorious good news that God has raised him from the dead. Happy Easter. <laughs>